Um, I'm Shannon Spence, and I was a co-leader with David Witten, am a co-leader with David Witten, of the Troubling the Waters curriculum, which was the, the, um, put together by the ELCA, and its full name is Troubling the Waters for Healing of the Church, a Journey for White Christians from Privilege to Partnership. And one of the ways that the ELCA describes this is it says, racism, both blatant and subtle, continues to deny the reconciling work of the cross. God's forgiveness frees us from the enslavement of racism. So I just wanted to give you a little uh, context for what we've been doing. Uh, it's an 18 session curriculum and we started it uh, back in December, which seems like a really long time ago. Um, we're coming to uh, the end, pretty much close to the end of the 18 sessions. And as Pastor Sarah said, uh, some, of the, some of us will be given testimonials over the next few Sundays. There, have, there were 10 of us that uh, uh, have been participating in this, just to give you a feel for that. Um, just for myself, this has been a um, very important and valuable experience for me. Um, I believe we created trust among ourselves to honestly be able to discuss our questions, our confusion, our guilt, our shame, and also I think our epiphanies, of which there have been many. Um, we've worked through things both together in these discussion sessions, and we've been doing a lot of work apart. There's been a lot of reading, a lot of watching, a lot of thinking and contemplating, and that is, has also been really wonderful. People come back every week and, and really talk about the work that they've been doing on this topic. Um, I think we've challenged each other and also supported each other with grace and with love. It started, as I said, with reading and discussions back in December, and those discussions and the mindset that it put in our minds that is seeing our privilege, thinking about our whiteness and what whiteness means in the United States and in the American story and in its institutions, including in the church. This flowed directly into our trying to process together the COVID-19 epidemic and then how to process the murder of George Floyd and everything that has come after that. <clears throat> I've been very proud and very moved. I've learned and changed, and I've been given the gift of watching others learn and change. Our group could have fallen away when COVID hit, but it didn't. In some ways, it highlighted the need for the learning we were doing. And, and we were sort of looking at live newsreel footage, so to speak, from the front lines of the American story, where brown and black essential workers are risking their lives so that other, others of us can shelter in place. Every day I ask myself, what am I doing with my privilege? What a privilege that I didn't really earn, but that was stolen. And I'm grateful for this group and for this church for helping to give me a place to work through the answers to that question. 